Welcome to Food Survivor on the Grizzled Survivor Show. And our episode today is quite a delight. Tourist delight. In the Game Stalker, one of the foods that you eat is just a nondescript canned good named Tourist Delight. And it's never quite told to you what is inside the can um, that you're eating. However, um, I went to an Eastern European grocery store of all places and I found this. Conserva Turistijna, I think is how you would say that. And uh, what that means is spiced minced pork apparently, but I'm pretty sure what that translates to is conserva, like a canned good for a tourist. Um, and this is a product of Poland, which as you know is pretty close to Ukraine. And uh, so as you can see, what is inside of Tourist Delight is like a spam looking um, like a meat pork loaf. Um, first of all, I guess let's kind of kind of see the weight on this thing here. It's actually a pretty hefty can. I bought it pretty much at the beginning of the year, and it's good until 2019. So you'd have about a year or two of um, shelf life to this if, if you chose to stock this. It's 10.5 ounces, so you're getting over a half a pound here um, of meat in this container here. Um, a matter of fact, it says there's five servings. And each serving is going to be 130 calories, most of which is from fat. And this is totally loaded with fat and saturated fat. Um, which, you know, if you're starving, that's pretty good um, to load onto you. But it really doesn't give you much of anything else. No real vitamins, a little bit of iron. Uh, you got 10 grams of protein in there. And, uh, you know, it's got pork meat, pork skins, water, um, curing stuff, sodium phosphate, sugar... Black pepper, spicy paprika, pimento, sodium L ascorbate, which actually is not a lot of ingredients. And it was produced inside of Poland and distributed by Lao Foods International. And they have a website there. Um, just for comparison's sake here, I want to look at this can of spam that has bacon in it. And really, the ingredients to all of this is, is pretty simple. Even this is about the same, um, although worse for you, to a degree. All right, so we have our hefty can of Tourist Delight. Well, should we open it up and see what's inside? I uh, wonder if I can do this one-handed. The minute I opened it up, some sort of slime came out of it there. And it smells, initially, like dog food. I'm not gonna lie. The cats certainly think that I have something for them now. You can see Roach is excited about this. So I'm gonna have to give him some tuna when we're done. Um, got like some fat up on the top there. Um, yeah, let me kill the camera and I'll get the lid popped up and we'll take a closer look. Well, that's as scary as any anomaly I've ever seen in the game Stalker. That is what's left inside of the can. <laughs> Pretty gross. I, I had to give the cat two to... He was begging for it. So he's over there eating. All right. So... There's our tourist delight. Looking very much like dog food. Um, I'm probably going to cook it up here and then store it away in some Tupperware. So, say we're hungry stalkers. And uh, we got to eat this. So, yeah, I'll uh, give it a taste test and uh, we'll see what I think. All right. Doesn't even want to stay on the damn spoon. Okay. We've got our tourist delight here. Yummy, yummy. After a hard day out stocking along the Cherry Clear Creek trails here, I'm going to eat some tourist delight. Ugh. It's not terrible. Honestly. 
tastes kind of like spam. Tastes a lot better than it smells, honestly. It, it really didn't smell that great at all. It does taste a lot better than that. Um, yeah. I mean, honestly, you were starving to death in the zone. I suppose that that would be better than nothing. Um, better than nothing for sure. So I'm going to try to fry this up, and we'll see how it turns out. And we'll uh, go from there. We'll see if it turns out better than it is now. Ah, imagine sitting around a campfire with the fellow stalkers. The gentle strumming of a guitar, crackle of a campfire, and the smell of cooking, tourist delight. You can see it's very greasy, as you'd expect from something so high in fat content. Um, I've kind of chopped it into pieces to facilitate the frying process here. And you can see it's not really darkening up very much here at all, folks. It is a pretty large old amount of food. You could probably feed two or three people with that. Um, you know, something like that would probably be handy to have in your survival gear, although, considering it's one of only three food options in the game Stalker, I'm not exactly sure that you'd want to eat this all the time. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got tourist delight in my tummy. Um, and I guess in the game, um, lore wise, this is raided from various military warehouses, so I can imagine that, you know, Warsaw Pact um, gave this to soldiers, or, you know, at least put it where they had access to it. Um, pretty much as, you know, a quick go-to source of food. At least in 1986. Sorry, guys, it's hard to bolt this at the same time. So we'll let that fry up a little while longer, and I'll uh, show you how it looks when it's totally done. Look at the amount of grease that came off of that tourist delight when I poured it onto the plate and onto this paper towel. It's kind of hard to see in this light. Let's take it over here. And my roommate's going to love that greasy. Here's what the tourist delight looks like after it's been cooked up. Like Italian sausage, kinda. Um, looks a lot more like an actual meat at this point, and less like a slimy concoction of pork fat. And, uh, yeah. Nasty stuff like that. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. So still very slimy. Um, in the middle, and certainly not the best thing on earth I've ever tasted, but for a quick blast of fat and energy, I mean, you could do worse, I suppose. Let's see the texture on that one. And I mean, you'd probably have to let it cook a lot longer. But certainly not bad. I mean... If that was one of three food options that you had because you're living in the Chernobyl exclusion zone, um, you know, you could do worse. So the final verdict on this tourist delight, would I recommend it for your survival kit? Probably not. I feel like there's a lot better things you could be eating besides this. Maybe a can or two just to get that real fatty food, you know, you, you might need to maintain some weight and some muscle. But considering it doesn't really offer you anything else and there's other foods that can give you the same benefits for a lot less weight and a lot other healthy things in that food, especially in the survival market. I just feel like I can't really recommend Tourist Delight. It's uh, just not cheeky breaky enough to make our survival list. Thank you today for watching the Food Survivor Show here on the Grizzle Survivor channel. As always, if you like this video, please go to our Patreon, and uh, you can, you know, donate to us there if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, you know, we'll use the money towards better equipment. I've been having to film a lot of videos on my phone here lately. 
which is not the worst in the world, but it certainly could be better. And uh, with more money, we could definitely afford to make a better video and buy more exotic foods. If you want to see pictures of our journeys, go to our Instagram page, um, at Grizzle Survivor. And uh, yeah, go to our Facebook as well uh, to see news updates and the like. One more look of the greasy pan. Thanks for joining us today. Happy survival. And uh, stay cheeky breaky.